This is Mike Lingle from Rocket Pro Forma. This is how we set up the subscriptions uh, pricing. So first of all, Rocket Pro Forma supports three tiers of subscriptions. Tier one is always active, but you can also activate tier two and tier three or deactivate them. So if my subscription only has uh, two tiers, I can set that up here. You can also set up the first month you can sell subscriptions for tier tiers that you have active. So this means I'm launching my tier one subscription in month two, but my tier two subscription I'm not launching until month six. So you can activate all three tiers and then just uh, delay the months in which you're actually launching them. So month 13 would be month one of year two. And then I can allocate a percentage of the subscriptions between the different tiers. So uh, if I change, remember only edit the items in blue, but if I change my allocation of customers who buy tier two subscriptions, tier one will automatically update to make sure that everything adds up to 100%. So you'll see if I change tier two and tier three, tier one automatically updates. Your subscriptions can have trials. If you set this to zero, there's no trial. But if you set this to one or two, one is a one month trial, two is a two month trial. And then there's a conversion rate from trial users to paid. So again, if you have no trial, just set this to 100 for year one, year two, year three. But if you do have a trial, you know, you'll have a conversion rate from trial to paid. You can also set up a wait list. So these are trial subscriptions. So people who come into trials, they will feed it to the one month trial and then convert at this whatever rate you've set here. This gives you uh, the implied cost from your ad funnel, which is set below in sales funnels, but it also gives you your implied cost um, to acquire a customer. For your ad funnel, so your cost per trial in this case is 150 bucks, which is probably expensive, but uh, only 40% of those people convert. So your implied cost to acquire a customer after they do the trial is $375. So you just gotta make sure your subscription is priced high enough to make that money back. And here's where you can set up annual versus monthly and churn. So um, this is the percentage of annual accounts versus monthly. So in year one, 30% of my customers are gonna buy annual accounts and 70%, uh, you know, 100% minus 30% are gonna buy the monthlies. The annual accounts have a huge impact on cash flow because customers pay you the year up front and you get the cash right away versus the monthlies, the cash comes in one at a time. So just be aware, the larger percentage who buy annual, the better your cash flow will look. This is where you can also set up your average user lifespan in months. So 24 months is two years. Uh, and this calculates your churn rate based on the lifespan. So in this case, in year one, customers stick around an average of 24 months, but over time I get better at retaining my customers. So in year two, they stay 30 months and the customers I sign in year three stay an average of 36 months. This implies a monthly churn rate and an annual churn rate. And these numbers are automatically uh, calculated for you. There's a customers tab over here um, that does a uh, very comprehensive subscription uh, customer calculations. So uh, it goes through where the customers come in from, how they convert from trials to subscriptions, and then upgrades, downgrades, churn. Uh, you know, Racket Performer has a lot of power on the back end. So there's a lot of great stuff happening. But all you have to do is fill in these numbers and Rocket Performa does it for you. You can also turn upgrades and downgrades on and off. So if you don't want to deal with the upgrades or downgrades, that's fine, just uncheck this box. But you can check this box and then uh, you can have upgrades and downgrades from your active tiers. Uh, so upgrades from tier one to tier two, upgrades from tier two to tier three, but also downgrades. And you can set the different percentages for each of the years. So this is very powerful and can drive a lot of revenue. Um, and if you don't want, like if you don't want to allow people to downgrade, you can just set these to zero and that will turn off the downgrades for that from tier three to tier two, for example. Or you could turn off, you could set all of the downgrades to zero. For each subscription tier, you have a bunch of settings and some information. So remember, we're only changing the items in blue and then the items in gray are calculated for us. So if you wanted to have a start number of subscribers, like you're already in motion, uh, you can just set this here, monthlies and annuals, and then monthly subscription price for tier one, annual subscription price for tier one, 
If there's any kind of setup or start installation fee, you can set that here or set it to zero. And then this gives you the adjusted uh, monthly price by calculating uh, the monthly and annual and the average, and then the average annual subscription. This also, and then it takes out your app store fees as well. So if you're selling on iTunes, iTunes is taking a cut. So that is uh, taken out of these averages as well. Or you can turn off the app store uh, below, right above, there's a, there's a box for the app store settings. And then this gives you information based on your settings, your average revenue per account per month uh, is given here. Your average uh, cost of goods sold per account per month is given here. Um, and that's a combination of third-party costs plus any customer support salaries. And that gives you a lifetime value of the customer. So in this case, we don't really start making money on the customers until year three, but our cost to acquire a customer uh, is so high that we never make money on those customers. Um, so these readouts become important. So maybe I need to raise the subscription price. And again, you can set these assumptions for tier two, and you can set these assumptions for tier three if you have them active. So that's how to set up your subscription pricing in the Start Here tab in Rocket Pro Forma. Please contact me if you have questions or suggestions. Um, you have know, tried to make this as comprehensive as possible, but also as simple as possible, which as we all know is difficult. Uh, I'm trying my best to uh, do as good a design job as, as Apple does. Thanks so much.